Hello folks, Sam from the Tortoise Farm, here with Humphrey. You can see how bad he looks. Boy, it's been a long line. This is going on for almost two weeks now. I've gone through uh, working with several doctors. Uh, Humphrey swallowed a construction pack. Look on, uh, Humphrey. Gotta look at how bad he looks. Look at look at his eyes. Look how bad his eyes are. How he's sunk in on the top of the head. He has this big, he has this big bloated belly here. I mean, just the fact that he's even moving is amazing in itself. You know, his GI has been stopped for almost two weeks now, and it's gotten to the point that I can't even I can't even give him high uh, hydrate him anymore. I, I tell you, I'm just. I'm just done. I'm, I'm I'm so stressed. I've got to take him in for the operation about <laughs> as soon as I finish this video. In the car we go. Dr. Fernand over at the Cooper City Animal Hospital. I hope he can he can make a miracle because if anybody deserves it it's it's my Humphrey here. Raised this guy from a hatchling. He's 34 years old. Raised him with my children. And uh you know, he's had this horrible horrible accident <clears throat> and uh i don't know i can't i can't give up on him i've i've been through through so much these last couple of weeks fighting for every drug fighting for every operation just just saying no and he he's beat me on he wasn't even supposed to live a day that's 13, 12, 13, 14 days ago. I don't know. But, uh, boy, it's been hard. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe this this wasn't the best time to have done this. But I wanted to get another video of him. Everything we've been through. And, and I want to I present that to the folks out there to keep fighting for your animals. I've seen miracles. I've been involved in miracles where you can save these animals, you can help these animals, you can help them survive. You just have to fight your way through. <clears throat> be, be prepared, be, be prepared ahead of time. Know your doctors, know your drugs, have stuff in stock. He, he, he would never have even made it this far if, uh, if it wasn't that way, if it wasn't for the fact that I had all of those things that I always talk about. But no, no matter how hard you try, sometimes this case had a lot of surprises and, uh, and, and, and a lot of challenges. And, uh, you know, I learned, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. And uh, I, I hope this turns out. I hope this turns out well for Humphrey. Well, that's a wrap from the farm, folks. I'll be back later with an update on whether he lives even through the first day. Take care, folks. Oh, man, and he has a good bite. Remember I was telling you, iguanas have sharp teeth, too. Well, there you go. Hello, folks. Sam here from Florida Iguana with Humphrey and my daughter, Samantha. Hi. I hatched these guys both at the same time. They're both 32 this years like old. Crocodile to me. <laughs> this is really Humphrey. I raised him from a hatchling, too. Knocking down some bananas there, huh? He's so cool! Oh my god! It's awesome looking. This is Raleigh and Humphrey. This is Humphrey, and he's meeting Colt for the first time. Well, we have Humphrey in this temporary isolation pen, and I just wanted to. Give him a little drink of water here. Come on, Humphrey. See him drinking the water? It just creeps in there a little. <laughs>